Welcome everyone, it's the pre-show show. <laughs> Just before we go on with some uh, some supermarket simulator, let's have a look at some news stories, some interesting things, and um, yeah. The first thing I'm going to highlight is um, there's a good deal on. I know that my community enjoys Battletech. Humble have currently got pretty much, it looks like every single Battletech book um, I don't know if they're audiobooks or just ebooks. Hold on, let's have a little uh, read. Are they for Kindle? It looks like um, use on any device. That's great. But yeah, it looks like every single one of them are about tw yeah, 23 78 You can pick them up for at the minute. So if, like me, you haven't uh, read any of the uh, Battletech lore, and uh, you enjoy the Battletech games, including MechWarrior. Might be a good time to get hold of it. And there is like screen reading software that will like read it to you if you want an audiobook. There you go. I may be picking that up. Yes. All right, the next thing was highlighted to us by Fraggle. Uh, we talked about Embracer Group uh, having a little meltdown. Um, earlier on in the month. I think it was back at the end of March. Yeah! I've had a little quick read of this and it seems like Embracer Group are throwing in the towel. They've bought way too much. They sold off Gearbox. Um, I think it was last month. And uh, yeah, the rest of them. It seems like they're splitting the companies back up and they're floating them individually on the stock market. So you've got Asmodee Group. I don't know what Asmodee are. That could be what Embracer will call itself after the after they've gotten rid of all of the chaff. Coffee Stain uh, and Friends. Don't know what that means, but Coffee Stain are getting floated as their own entity with a couple of other studios probably. And where's the other one? Middle Earth Enterprises and Friends. I'm not really sure what they are. Are they the guys who did um, Shadow of Mordor, or are they the people who did the uh, the Gollum game? <laughs> I don't think they're the ones who did the Gollum game, but yeah. So it looks as though they're throwing in the towel. They've given up on making um, games make all of the money that they uh, they invested back and uh, it looks like they're going to be doing some stuff there you go going to be floating they're just, just basically getting rid of the companies that they've bought yeah interesting they're breaking themselves up voluntarily not something you see very often and a sign of the times let's go on wordle and let's do it let's go straight on the one that fraggle will absolutely make me do Audio. We have an A. Began. Okay, we have an E and an A, and they're not in that word. That is, they're not in that order. Hmm. Baker says canny. Ah, oh, we have if we've used the B, but it's no B. Although Taker is definitely one we could have. Okay, so we've got A, something, ER. So it can't be Ker. Can't be Der. Gamer. Can't be Gamer, but it could be Aimer. Lamer? Lamer? Samer? Kappa? <laughs> uh. Ooh, later. No, can't be later. Laser? L lava? L lava? No, I don't think so. Laser. Just, just laser. It's with an S, Kenny. Come on. 
<laughs> it's like it's like English isn't your first language. <laughs> There we go. Laser. Right. So. Embrace. With Embracer Group being the topic of today. Mech. With Battletech being the other topic. Laser line you, you have as, as a gas. Well, lasers and gas don't often go, go well together. Okay. Um, happy. Sad. Okay, it's it's embrace, it's happy. Those are miles away. It's not gonna be anything to do with them. It's not gonna be anything to do with them. Um fish. Plane. House. Embrace and house are equally as far away as each other. City. Group six. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna let us have that one, but I will I will give you group. Annie, you have unintentionally nearly got it. Group. Forget that one then, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, gang? No. No hints for me now. Close it down. Okay. Team. Squad. Unit. Army. Uh, already done squad. Have we done squad? Yes, we have. What else is the band? Um... Your bad mouth almost won the game, it did. Friends. School. Um. Hack. Covering. Party. Ooh. We are close. Formation. Um. Hmm. Pair. Trio? Quartet. <laughs> um. Hmm. Dossin, or do you mean do dozen? Blob. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna test the sound lights to see if they're working. Um. Now I can't remember any of them. For this sandwich, a yes. jizz of mayonnaise is required. A dozen twelve. Okay. What could this be? Do, do we do we get a hint now? Oh my god! I think we might need a hint. Thought. We've done team, I think. Yeah, we've done team. Uh, we've done squad, we've done party, we've done army, we've done group. Friend? No, we've already done friends. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hint. I'm gonna do a hint. We're doing it. 
Beef. General. Um, sergeant. It's the other way around, isn't it? Sergeant. Thought it was. Okay. Chief leader. Leader. There you go. Leader. Leader of the gang. All right. All right. Finally, let's do a couple of city guesses. Let's get this done. Well, it's bloody raining. That is definitely Toronto. We're in Toronto, everyone. Woody Crest. Now, this looks like it could be in the outskirts of Toronto. Because it's definitely not the city centre. Canada. Leap country. I bet, I bet they sell mattresses and stuff. Okay. Eaton Avenue. Oh, hang on. What's this say here? Welcome to... Welcome to... Oh, hey, a cannabis vendor. Nice. Reek Town. Rink Reek Town. In Toronto, Canada. Where the hell is Toronto at? I, I never know which, uh, where where cities are in Toronto. Uh, sorry, in... Um, this is very loud, isn't it? It's to the right, okay. It's not in Newfoundland. There's Quebec, there's Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto, there you go. It's very loud, this rain. A Greek town we're looking for. Greek town. Is that going to be on the map? Melvin West. Port Union West Hill. Garbara Village. Oh, where is it? Where are you? I'm looking. I'm looking. Western, Islington, Eastville, Dixie, Lawn Park, Clearview. Oh, so that's Oakville. That's a whole different town. That's Brampton. All right, I'm just going to guess then. Uh, and I'm going to go somewhere around here. You lived here for five years, Jit John. Where am I? Am I, am I warm or am I close? I'm, sorry, am I warm or am I cold? Jordan lived here for five years, he should know it. Also, welcome in. I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to say yes. Hello, voices, says Caddy. That was only eight miles out. It was actually a lot closer to the centre of, uh, of Toronto. Okay. Let's get rid of that rain. Make me want to piss. This looks like it could be the UK. This is looking... The trees are looking very British. These telephone lines are looking very British. I think we're in the UK. Or at least Europe. don't think we're going to get any uh, any big clues here. We could be literally anywhere. Could also be Sweden, according to Kenny. Uh, these trees are looking very um, very much like they're just the, the landscape is looking very British. Be friends, I suppose. You'd have, um, you'd have had to see the street name to identify downtown. Didn't miss downtown Toronto at all. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. I, I wouldn't mind, you know, if, if I if I had to move out of the UK, I wouldn't mind going to Canada. I think the cold would suit me. Not that it's gonna be cold for long. <laughs> Hello voices on the screen, says Jordan. <laughs> I wish I could put the YouTube on the screen as well, so you could have a little intermingling conversation. It's somewhere in the British countryside. Yes, it is. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Where is this? There's, there's, um, we're not getting any clues here, are we? So I guess we're going to have to think of like, where in the British countryside is famous for its farmland. And the only place I can think of is East Anglia. So... But there's a hill, and East Anglia is famously very fucking flat. It's beside a field. <laughs> you know, it is. It does. It does look decidedly flat, doesn't it? I'm gonna go East Anglia. Let's just go somewhere around here. Bot, just... oh, right there. I mean, how are you supposed to guess that? Let's have another one. I feel I feel cheated there. Bureau to change. Where are we? You know, we could be... It's Bureau to change everywhere. We could be in uh, in the UK again, to be honest. We've got a Pret. There's a Pret. We get them a lot. The fragrance shop. Yeah, we're in Britain. All in the Barrett. Yeah, these are all British. I didn't see the um, the, the bus stop, to be honest. Yeah, let's let's reverse. Let's go back up a bit. I think we might be in London, you know. Bus we'll stop closed. I think we're in London. Yeah, and we saw the London bus. Okay, let's let it continue and let's see if there's any any ideas of where we might be. In London, it's a big place. There's Zara, so it seems like we're in the shopping area, or one of the many shopping areas. There's some roadworks, standard London behaviour there. Look at this unfriendly person here. Oh, he hates, he hates us. Someone's just annoyed that that, that this person's got the phone out. Sorry, I just want to go back and uh, look at this fella in the blue here. Look at this fella in the blue ear. Just here. Classic English gentleman there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, double decker buses are standard in this country. We get them all the time, but only London has those classic red buses. We were absolutely lost when we were uh, there last year. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't like. I don't like London very much. Um, I've been there twice, and uh, once I went in winter, and that's like the worst of both worlds for me. Asthma, and it's like freezing cold above ground, and when you're going into the underground, it's like humid and hot and horrible. And just going up and down between the two, I couldn't, I could barely breathe. It was ridiculous. And you know, I live near a city here, but like the air quality down there is absolutely shocking. Like what you did, Kenny, as he uh, don't seem to be reading. I will read it, sorry. You go Oxford Street. Oxford Street is a bloody good shout, actually. Yes. There's a Okay, so there's a crossrail station. There's a crossrail station being built there. Oxford Street is a is not in Oxford. <laughs> Where, ooh, there's a bank coming up. So they usually say where they are. So if it says Oxford Street, we, we confirm. Oh, here. There's a bus stop up here as well. What does this say? Does that say Oxford Road? It could do. Yeah, this is it. This is going to tell us. It's slightly blurry. Warhouse Street or Warthouse Street, Warthouse Street. 
you know what we just know we're in london i'm just gonna click somewhere in london um let's go a fairly well-to-do area i don't know kensington london's quite nice Shepherd's Bush is not that nice. Oh man. Yeah, London is London enough. Waterloo East. Waterloo Street. That could be it. Seems like a fairly busy road. Trying to find where the uh, the shops are all at. I mean, the shops are going to be everywhere, aren't they? Um, where's Oxford Road at? Old Street, Barrington. Because it'll be around where Oxford Street's where all of the shops are at, isn't it? Camden, are you? Edgware Road, Westway, near Mayfair. Oh, there's Mayfair. Okay, so we're looking for a road around here that sort of fits where we were. We begin with a W. Wimpole Street. Do you know Wimpole Street could be it? I'm going to say there. Yes. Oh, we were there. That's not too bad. Only one mile out. Do you know that'll do me? That'll do me that, well. Lovely stuff. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us for the pre-show show. We're going to crack on with some Supermarket Simulator. See you next time. Hurrah.